Hi everyone, it's Sylvia Kushana here. So welcome to my channel. Let's talk about depression and negative thoughts and just feeling overwhelmed and loads of emotions that we don't quite know what to do with. So just because you have a bad day or just because you have a negative thoughts, you know, maybe more than usually, just because you feel sad overwhelmed, lack of energy, you don't feel motivated, just because you feel like you don't want to do anything, you just want to be on your couch um, covered with the blanket and just do nothing, that doesn't make you be depressed. That doesn't mean you're depressed, that there's something wrong with you, that there is, um, that you're mentally ill. That could simply be a message from your body that you need to slow down. That could be something that you need to look into yourself. Maybe it's time for you to really reflect on yourself, reflect on how you're feeling and ask yourself simply, how can I look after myself? What exactly do I need right now? We tend to think that when we're sad or overwhelmed or you know, that there's, oh my God, there's this impending doom, depression is coming. I won't be get, you know, I won't be able to get out of this. Mm, you know, I won't be able to get out of this mentality or this mindset or the state. But there's few factors that you need to consider before you self-diagnose yourself with depression. Number one, you have to really look at the time of the year, you know, it's autumn, it's time when we're really slowing down, we're coming to the end of something. The weather isn't great if you're living in uh, in a country when there's not always sunny and the evenings are getting longer, you know. So all of that itself is impacting us. Somewhere in our body, we are preparing ourselves to slow down, to the end something is coming to the end and for the new beginning but before the new beginning can happen we need to kind of you know let go reflect on the year this is the time this is actually like we're in the i was in the middle of november so this is the time when you really november is actually the time when it's time for yourself it's time when you look into yourself it's time where you really can I look after yourself more than usually? And as I said, the you know the time of the year, it actually helps you to kind of slow down, helps you to be with yourself, helps you to really reflect on what's happening. That doesn't mean you're always going to have loads of energy to do things. That isn't November. <laughs> For November is really the time to where you really kind of coming together, coming to yourself, slowing down, and you just be. Don't put yourself under huge pressure, new project that needs to be there. And like, if let's say you work for yourself, don't put yourself under that pressure that you have to do another project, that you have to do something else. If you feel like you want to and you have the energy for it and it feels aligned with how you feel and what you want, then yes, go ahead and do it. But if you feel like, you know what, I'm actually good to slow down, to make it maybe the few days really easy, just do the bare minimum if I have to, but really look in after myself more, that's fantastic too. You don't have to put yourself under huge pressure you just don't. Another thing, maybe with that, you know, it's linked to the, the pressure is that you might not be looking after yourself quite well for the last couple of months. And if you've been on the go all of the time, this month, November, is actually about the time when it will kind of force you to slow down. When you're on the go all of the time, and coming to Christmas, usually Christmas is a busy day as well, like a busy month. But November is the time when you really, really allowing yourself to look back and to look forward. 
but being as you do in this transition you have to stay in the now you have to be honest with your heart, with yourself you have to be truthful and say okay like i've been on the go all of the time the last three months there's another busy month ahead of me let's just look after myself here maybe what would i need how can i slow down here Okay, my, I don't feel over, you know, I feel overwhelmed. I don't feel motivated. What is my body really trying to tell me here? What is the message that I'm kind of rejecting? Like, I don't want to listen to it. And then I'm diagnosing myself with depression. But really, maybe it's just not depression. Maybe it's just the time where you really need to slow down and start looking after yourself a little bit more no pressure be kind to yourself what it would be like if you would just allow yourself not to do things rather than being all the time on something you know on the go like having new projects and this and that and keep yourself extremely busy what if you just wouldn't do it listen to your body you know lack of motivation feeling overwhelmed loads of emotions you just feel like oh this is just another way of struggling to do anything don't do it if you don't have to don't tell yourself that you have to Sometimes slowing down is the best gift you can give yourself. Sometimes slowing down is something that will help you recover quickly. Slowing down will help you receive more ideas. Slowing down will help you to gather your energy back on, like, you know, slowing down and looking after yourself would bring a nice balance into your life. So November, really at this time of the year yes it's it can be difficult month for many of you but at the same time try to look at november in a kind of different way a month that brings balance a month that is allowing you to reflect a month that is helping you slow down a month that is allowing you to really see how far you have already you know um come how you know how much you have already accomplished in like, during this year even though it's not finished yet but we're coming closer to the end so maybe this is the time when you just allow yourself to see that and rather than being hard on yourself all the time demanding that you should be doing this you should be doing that maybe it's actually time when you praise yourself. Maybe it's time when you say, you know what, that was a, this kind of year, I did so much. Now it's time for me to like, take a breath, slow down and listen to myself. What would I need? What would make me feel calm? What would bring balance to my life? So rather than looking and you know being hard on yourself and as i say diagnosing yourself with depression step back a little bit step back because feeling sad feeling overwhelmed feeling like a lack of motivation it's normal it's okay to feel like that it's fine if you really need to slow down it's okay not to want to get out of the bed for a couple of days even because you feel exhausted because this month allows you to do that and rather than another thing about your mindset about the long evenings which can be difficult for many because of this weather use it and maybe put a nice fire on you know make a nice atmosphere that you can you know make only in the winter time because in 
summer. There's a different vibe. There's different um, atmosphere. November is time when you can really, you know, with the weather and stuff, you can actually make yourself very cozy environment. Maybe that's exactly what you need. Put a nice movie that isn't maybe an action, but something that will help you slow down even more. You know, like a nice comedy or something slower. Get yourself, you know, if you have kids, like get them in, in get them to be involved in this slowing down mode. Cuddle together, have a light, you know, have the uh, candles on, have nice um, fire and just be. And just be. Don't tell yourself that you have to, you know, answer those 1500 mails. They won't go away anywhere. Like they will be still there tomorrow. It's okay. Tonight, you're given time for yourself. Tonight, it's time for you and your family, maybe just yourself, maybe for you and your husband, whatever that is. Just slow down. It's okay. World won't collapse. Your world won't collapse. It will be still there. Everything will be still the same. But it's you who needs to, it's you who really need to give that permission to yourself. You. You got to listen to yourself. Pay attention to how you feel. Another thing that you can do, especially around this month, is practicing kindness. So what kindness towards yourself, but also towards other people. Because if you feel like this, if you feel overwhelmed, lack of motivation, low energy, sad, not understanding your emotions, probably majority of people will feel the same way. So kindness is a really nice way for yourself, but also for others to have, especially around this month. So when you're buying your coffee, smile and wish the person a nice day give someone a compliment or when you walk past by your co-workers smile at them and say or even people that you never said hi before just say hi to them let them you know with this small passing hi is a subconscious message of i see you i acknowledged you maybe that's what people need maybe that's what you need Maybe you need some kind of acknowledgement. So when you will be able to give that to yourself with more kindness, with more self-care for you and also for others, it will help you feel better. So kindness is not maybe the, the key, but it is in one sense, it is a key that will help you you know, maintain a, a better feeling about yourself. Another thing that you can really practice around this time when you feel, you know, so negative and there's loads of negative thoughts and there's, you know, try to practice gratitude. So, you know, someone might tell me, but this is easier said than done, but everything is easier said than done. Everything is easier said than done. So when I say practice gratitude, it's not, it's not like, Oh yeah, I'm grateful for this and I'm grateful. For... You don't feel it. That's not gratitude. This is just empty words. You got to feel what you really are grateful for. How was the month? Maybe not the How was the year year? And even during that year, take a few things that you can be honestly grateful for. Those things, those small things that you think they don't matter, they do. They really do. Especially when you feel sad, especially when you feel overwhelmed. Gratitude will help you ground yourself. Gratitude will help you come to your, you know, to see and it will help you can take a distance from what is really happening right now for you. Gratitude will give you a different perspective, bigger perspective. So gratitude for your health, 
that you are healthy. Gra be grateful for this morning coffee that you have every day and smell the lovely, you know, smell of the coffee. Maybe, you know, this is a season, like a I call it as chocolate season. Like, so maybe when the next time you're going to have a nice chocolate, enjoy it. And feel how the chocolate's melting in your mouth and it's just sensation, just feel it. Enjoy that moment. Stop rushing, stop being like a robot. This isn't, this isn't the time to be robotic. This is the time when you slow down, you pay attention to yourself, you be kind and try to find gratitude. Just because, as I said at the beginning, just because you're overwhelmed, because you feel sad, because you don't have energy, because you don't feel motivated, that doesn't mean you're depressed. It means you got to look after yourself and those feelings can be normal. They are normal. It's okay to feel like this. So, self-care, number one. And today we have actually a full moon. Uh, so drink loads of water and really, really slow down. Enjoy every moment of today. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your day. Enjoy the evening. But make it cozy. Make it something that you can feel good about. But doesn't have to be under huge pressure. You can do it. It's okay. So thank you very much for today. And I will see you next week. Lots of love. Bye.